Good morning. Man, do we have a lot to talk about. Like, here's Winston. Winston, say hello to the camera. It's been about a month, maybe, maybe a little over a month since I posted a video. So, sorry about that, but uh, I'm gonna fill you in in the next couple episodes on kind of what's been going on. So I guess this is the unofficial start of season three. Um, apartment life, apartment living. Gotta wear a mask in my own home now. All right, auto start. Time that I've ever seen a car there coming up. It's like a spiral staircase that goes, or a spiral parking case. A couple new changes, living in an apartment uh, with a crazy spiral parkade that makes me dizzy. It's like, it's like one of those things that makes you dizzy before you get out on the street to drive. Today's gonna be a little bit interesting. Um, I might be getting something super awesome. It's very typical of a YouTuber to get this thing, but I'm really, really excited or stoked, should I say. I'm back at home now. Also, this surrounding, this is probably going to be changing a lot throughout these uh, next couple videos. But right now, I'm really liking what this window light is doing to my face. It's pretty good so far but it is echoing a little bit. There's no paneling or anything, all boring stuff. I got super excited when I got it, so I forgot to film, but here she is. The One Wheel XR. I have wanted one of these things for probably the last two years. I've been saving some money and my new wife agreed to let me buy one, so here we are. I am officially a YouTuber, I guess. I did do a little bit of customization to this, so I'm gonna show that while I'm talking right now. It's not that I didn't like the blue that it came in, I just, there's always been something weird about one wheels to me. They look like they are made by, like somebody who goes to Burning Man, just like a, like an inventor product. The pint definitely has a little bit more of a polished look. Based on the reviews and after talking to a few friends, it seems like the XR was the way to go. Even the guy that I bought it from said that uh, most people who buy a pint from him end up upgrading to the XR within a few months. Super excited to take it through his paces. I rode it in the office for a little bit. It really isn't that big of a learning curve. I, I think it's more like a snowboard where you're kind of like, you're really unsure of how it works for the first hour and then you start to get a hang of it. But I'm trying not to get overconfident because I've just seen way too many videos of people bailing on these things. I did get a little bit of time before the rain started happening uh, yesterday to, to kind of ride around on the street. Ten minutes into my ride, all of the rumors are true. There's nothing like this. This feels like snowboarding on pavement. So, don't want to get there. I learned pretty quickly that you need to be very aware of the board and its limitations. Like I was going up a hill and I guess I just pushed it a little bit too hard. The nose hit the front and I went <coughs> flying off the board. Luckily, I'm pretty used to falling and uh, I wasn't going that fast so I was able to catch myself. But man, overall there is nothing like a one wheel. This is a crazy experience. This isn't gonna be a review, obviously. I haven't gotten to use it enough, but it's really just one of those things that you, you, have, to, you have to try for yourself to really understand why it's so much fun. So obviously I will do a bigger review of the one wheel when I get to try it a little bit more. And uh, as I'm filming this right now, it looks like it's drying up outside. So I might get another chance to go on a longer ride. Let's take the board down to the parkade and see how it rolls. You gonna hold it down for me, Winston? I'll be right back. I think the black looks really good. There's really nothing like this. Obviously, I mean, I rode it for a little bit yesterday, but uh, it's just so fun. Like. 